The new developments in a story the I team broke, exposing the dumping of a pile of debris contaminated with asbestos near homes in Chelsea. The state is now apologizing to the city of Chelsea for leaving that debris there. But here's the thing about that apology. Folks in Chelsea had no idea that that dangerous rubble had been dumped there until the I team got involved. Only then did that apology come. WBZ's chief investigator Cheryl Fiadaka in studio with us now. And Cheryl, you were the first one to uncover this. What are you learning now about what happened. Well, you know, David, residents right now are calling this environmental racism and want the dangerous debris out of their neighborhood, telling the I-team the state put their health at risk, and the apology doesn't mean much to a community that already has one of the highest asthma rates in the Commonwealth. It's right there. Angry residents who live at this public housing development in Chelsea can see the pile containing asbestos from their apartments. The State Department of Transportation dumped the contaminated material there without telling anyone. Most of the people live here are Hispanic. I think it's maybe um, races because they don't care about Hispanic people. They would not bring this to a white neighborhood. The I-team first told you about the uncovered hazardous construction debris with danger signs around it on Wednesday. After we started asking questions, hazmat crews showed up to cover it up. They would have never covered it if it wasn't, if this issue wasn't uncovered by you. We would have never known. The fact that it takes an investigative reporter to tell Chelsea that we are being exposed to asbestos a public housing development that are probably the most vulnerable folks. This is unbelievable. After our report aired, Chelsea officials got a letter from Mass DOT looking to apologize and said the dangerous materials were being temporarily stockpiled there, even though they came from a bridge on the Lynn Saugus line. It also said the volume of asbestos within the stockpile is small and doesn't represent a threat to public safety or health. But public health experts we spoke to say that's not true. Is there any amount of asbestos that's safe? There are no levels of asbestos that are acceptable. There's always a risk, even at very low concentration. The State Department of Environmental Protection signed off on allowing Mass DOT to put the hazardous waste in Chelsea, near homes that will now have to be tested. DEP need to do a better job. Testing will be done. It's, we're going to do it on our own. We don't want to take anyone's word for it anymore. Well, neither Mass DOT nor the DEP responded to our request for interviews and information. The state told Chelsea it plans to remove the debris within the next two to three weeks. Coming up at six, what environmental justice groups say about the timeline and why they're demanding the governor get involved. David, Lisa. All right, doing some incredible work there, Cheryl. Thank you so much.